Good morning, everybody. This is Mystic Jen. I'm here with your daily tarot reading for December 23rd, 2019. This is the not just a daily, but Christmas reading as well. I can't promise you that I will get dailies up tomorrow. Definitely not on Christmas. So in case I don't get to them, because Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, busy days, um, I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Okay, and we will go ahead and we will get started. This is a general read. This may or may not resonate with you, so just keep that in mind. Take what does, leave the rest behind. So in other words, this reading might or might not be for you. Okay, um, and the timing is fluid. These could happen at any time. So usually within a few days... These typically resonate. These are short-term readings. So let's see what comes up here. Okay, what messages do you have? Oh, that was easy. Okay, we have Krishna. Krishna's message is, trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Beautiful message there. Beautiful message. We'll go ahead and get into the tarot here. Probably going to spend Christmas Eve trying to get some of my January readings done. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we have a jumper. Okay, we start off with a Seven of Swords. Reversed. Okay. This is talking about getting caught at something, you know. Seven of Swords Reverse is getting caught. Whether you're trying to run off, escape, um, lying, cheating, whatever the story is, that's somebody who is getting caught. Okay. Page of Cups. This is definitely somebody feeling loved. This is somebody who speaks from their heart. This could, this could be symbolizing somebody's tired of running, somebody's tired of hiding, and they're gonna speak up. They're gonna speak true about what's truly in their heart, possibly. Three of Wands. Somebody's getting what they deserve. Somebody's making plans for the future. They're holding on to the Ace of Wands in this card. And that is kind of telling me a story. This is, this is like a story unfolding where, you know, somebody's probably been hiding their feelings. This could also be denial. Somebody could be deny could have been denying their true feelings, but now they're willing, they're ready to open up and speak what's in their heart, and let the past go and embrace a new opportunity. Embrace that Ace of Wands there, okay? And they're looking out at what life has to offer. 
They're looking at that chip and they're thinking, I want to get on it. I want to go. I want to travel. Okay. I want to, I want to go to new places. I want to get, go on a new path. Okay. Somebody could be turning their life, somebody could be turning their life around and speaking from their heart that they want to go on a new path. Hmm. Interesting. We have the tower. Okay. I mean, it is going to cause a tower moment, though. When that person finally decides, hey, I want to go, it is going to cause an, a tower moment. So I think that there could have been lies that have exposed that caused a tower moment. Those, those lies, that whatever was going on behind the scenes, whatever somebody was hiding... That is coming out causes this tower moment because someone decides to speak from their heart and speak about how they truly feel that they want to go off in a new direction somebody's tired of sneaking somebody doesn't want to be in the shadows anymore we have temperance here temperance is about restoring balance temperance is Healing could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, divine intervention, I'm feeling. But somebody's bringing balance, restoring balance within themselves, I feel. And we have the Knight of Cups. Definitely somebody wants to go off and, and make changes. <laughs> Going off and offering their cup to somebody. Probably to somebody else. Because they haven't had their wish fulfilled. Somebody was unfulfilled where they were. This wish, somebody's wish, hopes were dashed because the tower explodes. Because someone, mm, this is feeling like somebody was hoping that somebody, maybe somebody was hoping for a proposal of some sort that's not coming to pass. There's this tower moment. There's communications that another person doesn't like because. This person's tired of hiding and being in the shadows. Mmm. Six of Wands reversed because they realized there was no victory. And so they're, they're no longer deceiving themselves. Interesting. And we have the Queen of Pentacles here. You could, this could be an Earth sign. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. She's very. Um, she knows her worth. She knows what she has to offer someone. So this is kind of making a lot of sense. Okay, this the whole the central card here. What this whole reading is about. Is somebody offering their cup to someone? This could be dates. This could be invitations of any sort. Proposals. Somebody coming and really expressing their feelings because of the page of cups here. Okay. Somebody's been waiting on it because and has been feel, really feeling unfulfilled. So what I'm feeling is because somebody is hasn't seen their wish come to fruition, okay? Because somebody's been hiding in the shadows. They're tired of hiding in the shadows. You know, they're making this gesture. They're going towards a new path and offering their cup in a new direction, which is going to cause a tower moment in someone's life. Because they're, they're restoring balance within themselves and healing within themselves from a, a failed attempt at getting their wish fulfillment. And now, 
and they have felt like a failure and unsuccessful. This is like, they feel like this is a fail, the, the original situation that they are abandoning was an all out fail. That there was no growth and there was no victory in that. There is no victory of being in the shadows. And so they, and they, somebody's finally coming out and no realizing what they have to offer, knowing her self worth. She's taking care of herself. She, you know, she, she manages and runs the household. You know, she manages the family, you know, takes care of everybody, takes care of the kids, etc. But she knows what's in her heart. She knows her heart is golden. So she's very firm on knowing what she has to offer. <coughs> and she's no longer living in the shadows. The moon card is about hiding. Things unseen under the surface. And so is this card. This scream sneaking around. This is hiding. This is illusions. This is deception. Pure and simple. So I feel like that this woman or feminine energy doesn't have to be a woman. Maybe at a point in her in time where she knows she's worth more than being the third wheel. I feel like this is somebody who is partake, actively, knowingly partaking in a third party relationship. Meaning, the person that they are actively with was probably with another person, and this person was the person on the side, the mistress, or if you're a male, you are the extra boyfriend on the side when the husband or whoever is not being satisfying per se, you know, just saying. And I think that somebody was hoping that there would be a, a breakup and a split. Somebody was looking for a tower moment. And I feel that that tower moment is going to come about, but not exactly how they expected it. Because now they're looking at their wish. It's wishes that have been unfulfilled and the feeling empty. Knowing that feeling like this is a no win situation is this, this is going nowhere. I need to stop lying to myself. And I need to know my own worth, what I have to bring to the table. If this other person can't understand or can't see it, I'm going to go. I'm gone. Okay, let's get some more cards here. We have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is tower-like energy. Something coming in or leaving that you don't see coming. So this is like echoing the tower energy in a way. And I feel like somebody's leaving. This this is this reminds me of a card when it when it's ill dignified, like when they were talking about some some something shocking happening happening and somebody making sudden decisions. Especially when if it comes to leaving a relationship or something like that. Um, sneaking off. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye or just shutting somebody off. Somebody's found the strength to move on. Somebody's invested so much time and energy and but and there's the fruit there could be picked but the other person that's the other someone else that's involved in the situation is holding on tight to that fruit and the woman's basket is still empty 
So she's still feeling empty. Five of Wands. This is a tug of war. Okay. I think this this person here, this Queen of Pentacles, has been in a tug of war battle. A battle within herself. She's been holding on and she's been battling and battling and battling. And I think she's given up the fight. She's dropping the rope. Because she doesn't want to be in this tug of war anymore. Four of Cups, she's very dissatisfied. Unhappy. Yeah, she's being offered something. She's being offered attention. Maybe she's being offered sex or whatever, or love on a part-time basis. She is not happy with what's being offered to her. She wants more. She is seeing, looking at these cups, and she's, she's not happy with what's in there. There's another opportunity coming that over her shoulder. So I feel as though she's going to be letting go before that cup disappears. And we have the chariot here. This is about taking the reins. This is taking the control. This is moving forward. This is moving forward with divine guidance. And we have the hermit. Could be this is Virgo energy. We have Cancer energy. We also have um, that's Cancer energy. Pisces, Cancer, Leo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We pretty much have everybody here. So it doesn't matter on what signs that we are dealing with right now. But the Hermit is re receiving wise counsel. This is somebody going on a spiritual path. This is somebody going on to finding, somebody's going on to find out wish fulfillment. Somebody is listening to their guides. This could be an inner guide or somebody in their life that speaks wisely to them. Uh, I'm feeling more that this is inner wisdom though. I'm feeling like somebody has gone within and going on a journey, an inner journey. That somebody has gone on an inner journey and realizing that this is not for them anymore. Somebody's gotten wise. Somebody woke up. And somebody got wise. And they are taken off. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Somebody may have been in the downswing of things. Okay? Wheel of Fortune in reverse is, this is reversed fortune. Literally reversed fortune. So, if you're on top of the wheel, sorry to say, things might start going south again. Might be good. But if you've been down, okay, the wheel's going to turn and it's going to turn upright. It's like you may be in the down position right now, but you're going to be res receiving reversed fortune. That's what I'm being told with that being in reverse. I'm not seeing bad luck. I'm seeing a reversed fortune. Okay. So I think that when somebody lets go, starts a new journey, they're going to have a reverse in fortune. It's going, this wheel's going to turn itself right side up. Once they actually not just talk about what they want to do, but actually let go. And somebody is definitely very close to it. Because somebody is not happy. Ah! Yeah, they're going to go forward. You know. I think that they have lots of options. And I'm not seeing this as a traditional Seven of Cups meaning. I'm going intuitively. I think that someone has plenty of options. Almost like the saying of plenty of fish in the sea. But there's one that stands out. One that takes center stage. Okay, and it has the electricity around it. Look there, there's some electricity there with the Two of Cups. 
a destined relationship. So there's going to be a reverse fortune in love. Somebody's going to come together with the person that they haven't were meant to be. Okay? That they be with. So someone's going coming together with the person that they were meant to be with. Out of all their options, there is one that stands out. And they're starting to see things more clearly. They're no longer in self-denial stage. They're tired of hiding. They don't want to hide anymore. They're going to speak how they feel. And they're going to go off in a new direction and give their cup to someone else. That's what I'm feeling. And that's what I'm seeing, folks. And that's what I have for you. I do thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.